Good afternoon, Carnival High School. This is WCHS News. The name you know with the news you need. My name is Devin Gaston. And I'm Jacob Becker. With the musical being tomorrow, we sent one of our members to go find out more information about it. So I'm here with Kristen Snuffer, cast member in the musical Bye Bye Birdie. So Kristen, what role do you play? I play Susie, and she has a small solo part in Telephone Hour, and and she's a small, um, she's a teen girl. And, how many years have you been a part of a musical, or is this your first time? This is my third year doing musical at CHS right now. So has it kind of been difficult, you know, with Miss Barnett being gone and all learning to get parts, or how has that been going? It's been kind of dis difficult a while, but all the cast members are very, <clears throat> are very well, are very helpful, and they always help each other out, and we always make sure that everyone does every part they are supposed to be doing. So, what is this uh, musical about? Will you give us a brief summary? This is a bit about a guy named Conrad Birdie. He comes down to town and he's looking for the lucky girl to kiss and he's going off to war and just a bunch of teen girls I can, I can say about that. Hey, well, thank you, Kristen. No problem. Thanks for having me. Juniors that signed up for the ACT will be taking it April 19th and it will take place here at CHS. Be sure to study hard and get enough rest the night before. The prom will be April 30th. Make sure you preserve your detentions and pay all your debts so you will be able to attend. Madison and Kane went out and talked to senior soccer player Josie Hoke about how their season is going. Good afternoon, Carterville High School. My name is Madison McCain, and I am here to interview Josie Hoke on spring soccer. So Josie, how many years have you been playing soccer? I've been playing since I was about five, so about 13 years. Okay, and what field position do you play in soccer? I normally play defense. How is the, how is the team doing so far? Um, we're all right. We're not too bad. We're not as bad as I thought we were going to be, but we still have a lot of room for improvement. Well, that's great to hear. And what is it like coding with Heron? Um, it was different at first. It's now that the season started and we've gotten practices and games in, it's not not too bad. So you're okay with being a traitor? I mean, no. Okay. <laughs> so Josie, many people know that you will be attending Flagler University this upcoming year. What are your thoughts on that? Are you excited? Um, I'm pretty excited. I've met some of the girls already. I'm a little nervous about college athletics. Obviously, it requires a lot of time. But overall, I'm pretty excited. Well, there you have it. Remember Arbor Day on Friday, April 29th. Here's Isaiah with the tip of the week. Good morning. This is uh, Mr. Tyner with some little known facts. I know we got a lot of students nowadays that are always on their smartphones communicating back and forth, breaking the rules, and getting in trouble, getting detentions and all that. But you're probably wondering, how did uh, students communicate before smartphones came along? Well, I'll show you. Every student had one of these, and they would sit at their desk and they would type out a message back and forth. This is on their telegraph. So students had to be really smart so they needed uh, to know Morse code. And if they were getting in trouble they could type out an SOS that sounds something like this. And that's how students communicated in the pioneer days. And now with this week's random winner. Shelby Olson, will you please get your, go to that office and get your prize? Well, CHS, that's all for this broadcast. I'm Jacob Eklund. And I'm Devin Gaston. Signing, Signing off. off.